the longer I'm here with her, you know, it's like I, I get she's not gonna harm me, you know. Ooh. <laughs> she said, don't get, don't get fresh with me. My breakup was hard because I loved her. It's hard to forgive myself. Is what I'm doing with my life good enough, meaningful enough? Who are you? What's the deeper truth? Let's do it. Hi. Hello. Hello. I'm Natalie. I'm Sarah. Fancy. Oh. Nice to meet you. Great to meet you. Bye. Nice to meet you. So this is uh, Silver Horse Henning Ranch. Let me introduce you to the horses. That's Diva, the big black horse. She's I a like, pusheron. I like Diva. Pusheron. It's a draft mare. Wow. Anyway, this is where they live. And then in this area beyond there, that's where we're going to do the work. So then when you get to pick a horse, we're going to go in there. And we've shut the gate, so it'll just be one horse and you guys, one at a time. What you're going to do is you're just going to walk in, find a space. You don't necessarily have to go right up to her. This is about rapport. Rapport is about finding the resonance between you and the horse. It's about relating. I feel vulnerable out here in the middle. Okay. But the divas always love me. She's beautiful, she's big. When I first saw her coming in, it was like, she's impressive, but intimidating, you know? But I think the longer I'm here with her, you know, it's like I, I get the peacefulness about her that like, she's not gonna harm me, you know? I'm definitely not gonna harm her, obviously, so. <laughs> she said, don't get, don't get fresh with me. The horses don't want to be around you unless you create a rapport with them. And that lesson for me was like, you know, when you come into contact with people, you got to have the right energy about yourself. Learning with her that if I keep my cool, she'll appreciate, <laughs> she'll appreciate my energy and she'll be more receiving of me. I've been told by people like, you know, you come off standoffish, and I am. For, I don't even know why sometimes. Sometimes I can meet a new person, I'm just like, hey, you know, I just, and I don't know why, but it's like, why be like that? So if Diva had something to tell you, do you know what that might be? Embrace that, that calm that's in you, you know, so that you don't <laughs> rub strangers the wrong way, you know, or scare people off being big and imposing. I feel like you have a great rapport with her. I mean, ever since, even from outside the fence, you connected with her. Yeah. You'll probably be thinking about her tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't feel a deep connection with the horses. I didn't have one that just, I knew that it was gonna be my horse. I feel so rejected, I'm looking at all butts, and I'm like. <laughs> Before Natalie went into the horse arena, noticing that she said, I'm scared of rejection. Are you okay? Yeah, but I'm nervous of rejection. <laughs> as soon as she said that, I was like, ah, I think you just messed it up, because you're gonna go in there with that energy of like worrying about them rejecting you, and they probably will. And so then when I saw her standing out there, and the horses weren't coming around, it gave me this feeling of, I almost didn't want to look because I felt bad. I get Hank in the ring and I get nothing but ass and distance. And now I feel rejected. So how's that feel in your body? Uh, it feels kind of weird here. Like what does it look like? Like a little knot like that's yeah. shaking like an earthquake. Does it remind you of anything? It reminds me of when I used to get nervous before soccer games. If the purpose of the experience was for healing, it was the complete opposite what I experienced. It feels personal to you. I wouldn't say personal. It just feels like it wasn't right. I don't feel like it's personal. In all of this spiritual discovery and experience and for everyone who's doing it, some things are going to work great for you and others aren't. I think if you realize that it's not happening, it's OK to be like, this just is not the right process for me. And I'm OK with that. And I think that that's really important as people go through things, not to force something that doesn't feel natural 
It didn't feel natural for me. There's something that uh, needs to open a little bit, and I, 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 I can do what I do, but I can't make you do that. Sure. Do you want to come over here, Natalie? Yeah. All right. So we're going to do a little horse constellation. It's a tabletop constellation, meaning that we're going to use these little figurines as representatives. Out of all these little horses, like pick one to be you. I like this guy. Okay, good. And then put it on the board somewhere. Is that? Is that me? Okay. So whatever it was that was in the way of your connection with the horse, that's what I felt. Okay. Can you pick one of these horses for that? It represents but, that wall. Yeah, that's that's in the way of you connecting. I feel like maybe this guy. Okay, so this is a little baby unicorn. It's got a little horn there. Well, to me, this represents a child. Okay. All right, so I'm wondering, or it represents a baby. Maybe this is a little part of you. It's like the child in you <laughs> that didn't get its needs met in some way. I dreamt of one thing my entire life, of becoming one thing. Failure is such a he heavy word. I'm so happy my life is what it is, but not being able to play with my friends and represent my country in a World Cup or Olympics mm. and failed to get that. It was like the only dream I ever wanted. So it was a dream that never materialized, but you were really close. Yeah. So have you forgiven yourself for that? Uh, I still think it comes up. You know, I've, I've kind of always really felt comfortable in a number two spot because I, I chase the number one, and as soon as I get the one spot, I sabotage. I just feel like this needs to be acknowledged. Can we do a little bit of work in there? Sure. Okay, so I'm gonna be this one. Okay. Whatever this is, okay? Okay. Let's just try that for just, okay? So we're going in there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so are you aware of me? Uh, I am now, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I, I find it really, I can't even look at you right now. So I have a lump in my throat. Okay. That feels safer to me now. Oof. So it feels safer that I still can't look at you. How do you feel in your body? Um, I feel like I may cry. I feel really sad and helpless and it makes me, you know, I, I don't want to atta attack you. I feel you backing away from me too. So, I don't know, it makes me sad that I am attacking things I want relationships with. I feel somehow like I was rejected by you in some ways and that was really hard for me to trust you. I feel you really hard on me, really hard on me. This is who I feel I am, I'm, I feel like I'm you. That was never good enough. Yes, I fully identify with that. Because I didn't get you your dream or your goal. I let you down. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, but I let you down, didn't I? It's okay. Didn't I let you down? Yeah. I did. <laughs> yeah. So tell me, yeah, yeah, you let me down. You let me down. Hard. Really bad. All right, so even you just saying that makes me feel like, <sighs> feel like I can relax a little bit. I'm so happy things are the way they are. But what the real thing is, is about, that part of me is the one that's stopping you from relating. Here she comes. So I, I need to be honored. I want you to be honest with me. She really likes her bark scratch, actually. Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, I'd like to grab a beer with you. <laughs> <laughs> it was really intense. This kind of, you know, made me think about myself. Like, sometimes I can come off a little brash or too strong. What happened with Iman was totally different than what happened with me. It sucked to be in there and feel alone with those horses in there. I'm gonna be checking in on Diva. All right, yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> it felt good to kind of take away that, like, you know, listen, if you approach people differently, you can have a bit more of a connection with them. It really kind of hit home for me, so it's cool. I was really hard on myself with soccer, and I actually think a lot of women are really hard on themselves and want to be perfect moms and businesswomen and partners. And um, so there's, I have a lot of that in me, like be better, be the best version of yourself, reach your fullest potential. So I think it was just a part of that energy that that's like you are a part of me, and I'm not going to get mad at me and the parts of me that aren't good enough or that disappoint me. What are you feeling right now? Like, I'm such a loser. 